going to go down to Dungarvan, which is on the coast, and it's going to be nice just being able to just get away a little bit out of Cork City for the day and just do something totally different. Warren is going to meet Ross Barrett, who runs a successful boxing club in Dungarvan. Sorry, is Ross around? Right there. Warren wants to train and hang out in the gym, as he's heard that Ross is involved in mentoring young people in the area. How you doing? I'm Warren. How are things? Warren, good to meet you, Warren, yeah? Great gym. Yeah? Thank you very much. Warren learns that as well as the regulars who today are training at the gym, the club is sometimes used as part of a boot camp called Bad Boys Turned Good. Ross takes in wayward teenage boys on a programme designed to get their lives back on track. Ross himself had a tough upbringing. This is what compels him to help young people. So, Ross, how does the programme actually work? Yeah. lad comes in, w what are you expecting from him? What's, the, what, what's going to happen? Uh, basically, he toes the line. Yeah. You know, he comes in, we have a set of rules, it's ten rules. Right. It's a sign up to them. Um, and then from there on, it's a zero, zero tolerance boot camp style operation where we have them up at half seven in the morning. There's a structure to the day from early morning to ten o'clock at night. First, you clean the house, you come training. So it's a one big house they stay in? Uh, yeah, it's a three-bedroom house, just normally. And do you pay for that? or? It's yeah, I, I fund it. Uh, it comes out of my own pocket. Right. Um, everything we do here is funded from the gym. For okay. Ross invites Warren to see the house where the boys lived during the programme last year. It's very stripped down. Is that purposely yeah. no TV and things like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. No distractions, you know. What's the thinking in that? Uh, so they learn to live within the boundaries, you know, that the, nothing comes for free in life. Okay. And all we're asking them is to, to live within the basic rules. We teach them how to cook, we teach them how to clean, we teach them how to budget, you know. So you're you know, that's the back and trying to just teach the basic principles yeah. of how to live? Yeah, it is, you know. So these, these guys would have never had that teaching in their own homes, they'd have never had that teaching in, the, in their lives. Well, once you step through the door, you know, I mean, you, you live by the, 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 the boundaries for every choice they make, there's going to be consequences. You know, if a guy misbehaves once, we'll take something off him. If he might go to his bedroom, take away his mattress. Severe cases that if they really misbehave and they're really stepping outside the boundaries, you know, on a continuous basis, we'll, we'll take away their privacy. So that means removing the door, and then bit by bit, you're going to earn that back. Can we see the, uh, the, the room? Yeah, of course you can. This is your room, this is your space. You want to respect it, you know? Yeah. If you don't, again, you know, you're overstepping the mark. You have to give them some reward as well, you know? To, you know yeah, when they get the reward, they feel, oh, I've done something. Right. Do you know what? I made a good choice. I've got a reward. And as, as simple as that may seem, you know, it makes sense to them. Actually, by making sensible choices in my life, I have an easier time. Right. You know, I don't have police on my back. I don't have local people on my back. I can actually walk around, you know, and do something with my life. Right. You know? Is it expensive? The, the, the whole project uh, yeah, on a yearly basis is, is quite expensive. You know, there's no funding. I've tried applied for funding from local people who do go to and. Yeah. Oh, sure, in recession, there's nothing there available, but you just plow through. Warren now meets Declan Palmer, who has completed the Bad Boys Turned Good programme. It must have been difficult enough. It was hard getting used to fish. Declan was estranged from his father after his mother died and slipped into a very dark place where he drank to ease the pain. So, tell me about the, the pain and the, the numbness. Well, pretty much, you know, that shows a, kind of a story of my pain there. Like, this is my reaction to my emotions, you know. How long, how long of a space of time did you do that? Was that was in about a week. And there's 63 cuts there, I think, you know. To do that in, in such a short space of time, it must have been unbelievable pain. Yeah. Well, honestly, I was in such emotional turmoil. I was trying to search for pain, trying to feel that pain that I was, you know, yearning to actually feel to know I was still alive, still had a soul, so to speak, you know? And did you? No, didn't feel any pain. And it took me a very long time to know that's not the answer. Yeah. yeah. Every time I look at them now, you know, it's really just reminding me of this pain, and it's there for my, the rest of my life, you know. There'd probably be a handful, if that, of people you trust in this earth, is there? There'd be a very small handful, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's hurt me so much in the past, you know. It sounds like you really trusted Ross as well. When he earned my trust fully was the day that he said, yes, I'll take you in. 
and that was, then I knew he was a genuine person. Right. Really, it just kind of gave me that motivation to see people for who they are, no? Yeah. That there are genuine people out there, and you should never give up on those people. You know, it's been a vital part of my life, and it's shaped me to be who I am today. Back at the gym, and it is busy with people training for a sparring session. Ross invites Warren into the ring to box with one of his regular gym members. The blows have an unintended emotional impact. The ring is a funny place. It brings up new curveballs every second, and you might think you're, you're paddling along lovely, and sometimes you get a belt on the head. When he hit me in a way he hit me, you know, there's a trigger that goes off in my brain. I don't like getting hit. I'm not a bit violent, but if someone is aggressive or hits me, I, I just get... It can bring it back very, very quickly. I was in a situation that I was been hit when I was younger by somebody that, you know, had no respect for me as, or as a child. It could be for the simplest thing, as not being able to hang your trousers properly. Uh, the, the, the person that was doing it to me um, was was very big and very strong. And when you're only very young and you're very small and you're looking up like someone like that's like a house. I had a nervous disorder um, because I was petrified of doing anything. Luckily for me, that ironed out through the love of my grandmother, you know? <laughs> Everyone has their own story and everyone's pain is unique to them. I've seen real pain on this journey. Pain in people's faces that I haven't seen in a long time. And that's a great way to stir one's emotions. Next, Warren makes his way to Dungarvan. So I sort of feel like I'm nearly going in having to propose and I'm really nervous about going in here. I don't know why, but I, I am. So, uh, ba basically, anyway, we're coming down to say our final goodbyes. Yeah. And Ross, you know, I haven't been entirely honest with you. And that's because, being honest, I don't think you know how actually good you are. Right. But I know, because I was a lad in a bad place. And if I had had someone like you in my life when I was growing up, I think it would have made my journey a lot shorter. Thankfully, I'm in a position to maybe put a little bit of brightness and a future into what you're doing. So, I have something for you. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Cheers, <laughs> I hope it does something good. I know it will. Well done. I'm lost for words, you know what I mean? That's, that's going to go such a long way to, to, to build this program more and more, you know, that we can, you know, reach out there better, you know? I it's was such... nervous about meeting you because I didn't want you to take me doors off at night. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm surprised. <laughs> Shocked. Yeah, and surprised, yeah, you know, it's a, lo it's a lovely one. You know, to have something like this handed to you and, and have, have, you know, Somebody like Warren come down and say, you know, I believe in your project, I believe that what you're doing is great, you know. It just gives you so much more belief. Thank you very much. Superstar. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Uh, you know, you probably have to come back next week before we'll be able to speak again, you know? There's not many characters I'm ever going to meet in my life that are doing as good a work as he's in there, you know? So it's a special day, and it's what I signed up for, and it's the, it's, it's the reason why I'm here, so I'm really, really touched.